you've been appointed as head of AI for your company or for your organization, and you start to go through your inventory and you realize there is like 20 or 30 little experiments. You have your developers trying GitHub Copilot um, and, and so on. Okay, you have 30 pilots. You look at them, you talk to the team, you interview the leaders, you put them in a nice grid to say, okay, this is what the pilot is about. This is how it drives value and so on. And it looks very successful. It looks very promising. Now your pilot, by definition, has been built in an invite in a kind of controlled environment that doesn't suffer from all the bottlenecks of your organization and your technology. So the first thing is this gap between the conditions under which your pilot was uh, uh, created and run and your real life conditions when you are talking about your entire IT stack and your broader product teams that need to consume part of the data that comes from this pilot. So right there, you have a gap. What's in that gap are the things that get in the way of you being able to say, okay, I'm not just experimenting with AI, but AI is actually driving real business value and real business outcomes for me. And I would say that's kind of like the technological aspect and the organizational aspect that could get in the way of, of doing this scaling, this implementation. I don't know if you did this on purpose or not, but that's very similar to our agile transformation story. It's like you would, what we would see companies do is they'd be in a chaotic mess um, and then they'd go and they'd run an agile pilot and they'd create the ideal conditions for the agile pilot to be successful. And, you know, they would, you know, greenfield development, all the data is locally accessible, the dev teams uh, dedicated to solving the problem. And then they would do something like use Scrum or extreme programming or lean startup or some methodology to enable those set of conditions. And then, and then what would happen often is that people would say, oh, it was Scrum or XP or whatever that enabled this. So let's go do this in the rest of the organization. Um, totally missing the point that the conditions to, that were created in the pilot were not the conditions it was like you go and you run this AI pilot and you have all the data available to you. You're solving a localized problem um, and AI is able to do amazing things. And then you take that AI and those prompts and you unleash it on the legacy organization and the legacy data. And you know that you don't have the data in the right place. It's not available via API. Um it's you're you're not able to change the applications and interact with them in a different way. And it was just really interesting, the parallel between why an AI initiative will fail and why an agile initiative will fail. 